Hello everyone. I hope you're having a great day. I just got these new st uh, stencils and I have this uh, crazy art washable colors. I got it at Walmart for $1.58 and I wanted to see if I could do something cool with it. I have been watching YouTube of other people and the stencil just looks so cool which my son-in-law said why don't you you know yeah you could do the same thing with the cup and he's right and I have done that on paper but I really just wanted to get this stencil I think it's so cool and let's see here I got this new little it was $3.49 at uh, the scrapbook store here in Ankeny Iowa I thought that price was pretty good. So we're going to use that. And my daughter took me on a shopping spree. And I got these at the same store. They were $6.99. Pretty excited. I've never used these before, but I do see other people um, doing them. And I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm new to scrapbooking. So this is just really fascinating to me to have these. So it came with two of these and two little extra ones, little pads. I did see that they had extra pads there I could go back and buy if I needed to. So I'm going to keep this nice and neat to find a place for that. So I'm real excited to do something with both of these. And I have my water here. And let's see. I'm sorry if this is wobbly. I'm going to try using my own paintbrush. Okay, I got one. This one's a little bit big. I'm not going to worry if my colors uh, start to run together. It reminds me of when I was a kid. And uh, we used to use these. And they were so much fun. They did. I did see there that they had... Uh, water watercolor paper I don't have any of that so I guess the watercolor paper probably would soak it up a lot better I'm assuming I guess I don't need any more water I'm just gonna do a little bit of everything all over the place I love color And I think this is really cool because it's not making very much of a mess. I'm not having to squirt something out somewhere. Ooh, I didn't use green, my favorite color. Or, I don't know. Something turned green there. touch of black in there somewhere. Okay. I really like that. Let's see. What do I have here? Okay. It looks like the only thing I have is toilet paper right now. I don't want to leave that brush in there because I do not want the bottom to start curling and stay that way. Okay. I think that looks really cute. I hope I was in frame when I was painting that. I'm sorry if I wasn't. Okay, so it looks really cute. So, let's see. Maybe I should let that dry. I don't have a blow dryer. I see other people having blow dryers. But you know what? I'm not going to wait because I'm impatient. I'm just going to put this like this. This color is tea dye. Am I doing it right?
hope so. I could almost use my my uh, paint on here. meant to be used with those little tiny finger ones. I don't know. Oh, that looks good. I like that. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to put this on here because... Let's see, do I have... I have a big black one. What did I do with it? Well... I have everything sitting right next to me. And I wonder if I took that and gave it to my daughter. So, I guess I'm going to have to continue to use this one. comments please if somebody's seeing me do this wrong please tell me when I watch other videos they usually have the big one and they just go like this and it just comes right off on it so now I'm already not a fan of this because I am just not getting the result that I thought I was going to. See, that is still cute, but I'm still going to have to research it because I'm just apparently not doing it correctly. Which makes me sad. It really made it look so easy when you watch someone else online. So, yeah, I'm not that happy. All right. I also got some of this distressed oxide spray. And uh, I guess I can just spray it right on my paper. And of course, again, this is not water, um, water paper. I don't want to do that. So... I suppose maybe it would, um, and when you spray it on the paper, maybe it would, maybe it would spread out. But let's see what it does on this paper. Shake it really good. Okay. I'm just going to spray it right here in the middle. Alrighty. I'm making a nice mess, aren't I? Ooh, I like it. I don't know why I like making mess. I did also buy this um, Distressed Ink. This is Oxide Spray. So they are two different things. Uh, this I purchased to put in the large Distressed Ink pad I have, which I've never done before. And I'm hoping that I can get uh, more use out of that pad I must have gave it to my daughter with her she let me borrow some of her stuff and I probably gave it my stuff with hers okay my paper is getting a little crunchy Ooh, you know what if I put this in the oven for one minute at 250 of course you stand by the oven and you watch Ooh, my paper underneath is even curling uh, it would get crunchy which I love to fill the paper when it gets crunchy. But um, I don't know if you like this, but I certainly do. I think I would put 
something around it. Now I did get some new stickers. My daughter let me go on a whole shopping spree. So I got these new these new stickers. I've never had anything like these. And look at, oh my goodness, aren't they cute? Okay, I'm going to take them out of the box for this first time. So let's get a good look. Uh, green is my favorite color, but these yellow just seem so vintage to me. Oh my goodness. I can't tell. Oh, it's just photographs. Oh my gosh. This is, keep this coupon. 10 cents. Admit one, 10 cents. Oh yeah, those are really vintage. And look at these. These are, they are little stamps. Oh my goodness. And they have like the stamp that you'd put on an envelope. Oh, I love them. And then this was in that box. And this box is $12.99. But you seem to get quite a bit. Oh, yes. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. This, orange, this yellow would really look really nice with that. I'm looking at them trying to figure out if any of them would look good on that. You know, it would look good, which I don't have any, would be some Claire stickers with maybe a flower or something. So you can still see the design underneath. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I like that. I just put my finger on that one spot and dragged it. I'll probably have that spot there now for days, but I don't care. Okay, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Oh, I'll show you these stickers. I got these stickers too. These were $6.99. I haven't taken them out yet. Ooh, oh, oh, oh my goodness. It's one big sticker. I thought it was like five or six little ones. This is $6.99. Wow. Okay. This, uh, okay. This is not what I thought it was, but, um, I'm very excited and interested in this because look at Maybe I should open it. Oh, this isn't even a sticker. It is. Okay. It is collage paper. Oh, me. I don't, I guess apparently I don't know how to read. When I'm shopping, because when we when I saw it, I she was we were both looking at it, going, "Oh my God, these are beautiful stickers," and uh, we didn't look at. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? All right, I guess I'll be looking that up on YouTube. I think I have some Maj Paj. You can buy that at the Dollar Tree. I suppose I put that down, put this on top, and then put Maj Paj on top. Is what I think you're supposed to do. That's interesting. That is going to be another video because that's beautiful. It might take up the whole page. Okay. So, let's, what else can I do here? Maybe I can put one of these. Or I should, maybe I should put a sticker on it. Okay, first maybe I should put a, some words on top. Um... I think I like no beauty shines brighter than a good heart that sounds really fun and airy just like this piece of paper and I'm just gonna cut it right here And I didn't care if it was even, but I think it looks really cute on here. And, okay, I'm just dying to use one of these stickers. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it then. I was crocheting little tiny bunnies for my craft sale. And I think I took my little scissors over there to my chair. So... I 
I will not throw this away. I will use this little one for something else. And I think the cut, if I cut it, it won't have that pretty rough edge that will look really good on it. So I'm just going to cut it. See how it has that nice edge on it? Yes. So that will be going to the pile to use later. Merchandise Store, Island Creek Store Company, book number. Oh, I like that. Alrighty. Let's see. I'm really happy with these. And there's so many. Okay. Hmm. I think I want to use the special delivery photographs. I think. Let me kind of make that insinuate that that's a piece of art, you think? Or maybe a picture. Box. Oh my goodness. They had all different colors, all different things. It they just had so much there. And this scrapbooking uh, is very relaxing and very ther therapeutic for me. Helps me forget all the troubles in the world or in my life. I don't know. Um I did go and get this new glue. I have been using this, but I used one whole tube on my jewelry. It worked great. This tube, every time I didn't put the lid on right away, it got a big bubble on the end. It was just really annoying. And so I did see another uh, YouTuber. She was using this glue, and I got it at um, Walmart. And I did get two in this little tube. God, how much was it? I want to say 3 or $4. And... Uh, Look at that. It's just really sticky. I opened it this morning and I glued, let me show you. I glued this, this part on, and this on this piece of paper with this, just to try it out. The black colored paper. And I've been making these pages to sell at my craft sale. They're like either bookmarkers or someone can buy them and put them in their scrapbook. They're just cute, fun things I've been doing to make myself happy. So, and this one, since it's my first one I used my little paints, I might put this in my own personal book. Special delivery, yeah, this, this works a lot better than I thought it would because it is a glue stick. And uh, yeah. So we will see how that works with water. <laughs> so, oh, cat hair. Nice. Nice cat hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, I'm just going to turn it upside down. Put the lid on my water. This is pretty heavy. I like to put my water here so if I get up I can cover it because I don't want my cats knocking it over. I think I'm just going to let it sit here with a little bit of weight. So it will stay flat. And then when I come back, I will have my beautiful piece of paper. I want to thank you very much for watching. I appreciate everybody uh, who likes to watch and just see me have a good time. So you guys have a great day and I will be back soon. Bye.